Hello everyone, my name is Vic of Use Market Biz, and in this video I am going to share with you a very high potential coin and also I am going to share with you its website so that we can understand um, thoroughly uh, the token itself, right? So without further ado, let's proceed to the um, website. So this is the name of the coin, or token rather. So it's called DAV coin. So it's ranked 648 in coin market cap, and as you can see, uh, its market cap is two million four hundred sixty-three thousand dollars. The volume in the 24-hour period is eighty-four thousand U.S. dollars. The circulating supply is four hundred fifty-four million DAVs. Um, the total supply is one billion three hundred eighty DAV. Okay, so here's the chart for DAV. Currently, we're on the bear market, but someday, or we know, um, this is cryptocurrency, and you know, maybe tomorrow um, it'll pump up, right? So, the next um, is where to get this token. So, you can get this token at these exchanges. So, LA token with Forex. Biolaxi, hit BTC and IDEX. Okay, so let's go to their website. So to access their website, um, you can click website at CoinMarketCap here, or you can type directly at your URL bar, um, dav.network. So here it is. So dav.network, right? So dav means decentralized autonomous vehicle. So it's the coin of transportation. It's a blockchain-based transportation protocol that is en enabling a decentralized peer-to-peer -peer global transportation network. Um, they are building a decentralized infrastructure to revolutionize the transportation industry on the blockchain. So as you can see here on the website, um, there are two videos. So the first video is the overview of DAB, so you can view it here or go to their YouTube channel and watch it there. The next one is that there's a first Australian company that is utilizing the DAV protocol for shipping and logistics. So you can also view it here or go to their um, YouTube channel also and view it there, right? So here's their um, social media links. So Telegram, Kakao Talk, uh, Twitter, GitHub. So if you're a developer and you want to contribute to the DAV soft community, you can go to GitHub and contribute there by joining all right so their youtube subscribe their youtube linkedin um, reddit facebook and medium page okay so dow's protocol allows anyone to utilize transportation services or put their own van or autonomous vehicles on the network creating a decentralized peer-to-peer -peer transportation ecosystem so their technology. So DAV is a framework of open source software, open source hardware, and a free decentralized marketplace where anyone can buy and sell autonomous transportation services. So their technology consists of three major components. The first one is decentralized discovery. The second one is communication protocol. The third one is trustless cooperation tools. So there's the definition here. Okay. So let's go to their community built modules. Right, so their protocols. So let's explore. So the first one is the drone charging network. So it connects drones and charging stations on an open network where they can buy and sell charging services using DAM tokens. So it is made possible by one of, our of their alliance member and is currently offered with five charging stations in northern Italy. So these stations offer charging services through the DAM network in exchange for DAM tokens. Okay, so as you can see in the uh, picture, so just open your app and then there's a map there and there's a location where you can charge your our drone. So it's very, very important because we'll never know uh, when we ran out of battery or we forgot to charge our drone, all right? So the next one is the drone flight planning. So it's where drones pass waypoints on their planned trip, trip 
and Realm Planner bids to offer a service in exchange for DAO tokens. Once a mission has been awarded, the service provider returns a list of coordinates to fly through so that the drone can reach its destination safely. This flight plan takes into consideration environmental, topographical, and regulatory considerations. So there's an integration with the DAV Alliance member. Um, it's currently offered in Nevada, USA. Okay, so the next one is their drone missions app. So missions is the first app built to showcase the DAV ecosystem. So it connects users looking to ship packages with autonomous drones, users request drone services, drones bid for those services, and trustless cooperation is enabled by using the blockchain. So currently there's an integration with the first drone partner called Tour Express as shown in the left picture. So as you can see here is there's a drone of Cotter Express. Right? So it's very very nice also. So the next one is more on the software part. So it's a DAV CLI or command line interface test. And test that. So here's a description to it. It's built to make developing applications and services that interact with them a much more pleasant experience, right? So the current status for this is full of functioning testnet and identity generation already used by foundation projects. Work connecting the registration functionality with the identity smart contract is in progress. Okay, so the next one is the DAV developer portal. Right, so the developer portal incorporates API documentation, communication protocols, and instructions for running the command line interface, local testnet, and block explorer. So multiple communication protocols written and a user guide for their CLI tools is now available. So the next one is the block explorer. So the block explorer allows users to explore local Ethereum testnets. Current status for this is work is underway. To package the block explorer enabling it to launch automatically from the DAV CLI tools. The next one is the mission control. So it serves as the discovery and communication layer that connects and keeps track of vehicles, users, and services. The current status for this is fully working for running simulated environments with drone deliveries, currently being expanded to support the vehicles of their first partners. Right? So the next one is the autonomous boat. So they call this one um, Nemo. So Nemo um, will demonstrate true autonomy by spending money to take care of its own needs, allowing it to operate independently for long periods at sea. So when Nemo runs low in energy, it connects to the DAV network, purchase and pay for charging services with DAV tokens, and after it charges, head back to sea. Right. So the current status for this is the boat is ready. Work on the onboard computer and its final integration with the DAV network is in progress. So as you can see, here is Nemo. All right. So the next one is search and rescue robot. So they're partnered with partnered with Osarin, a robotics prototyping company, and they are developing a POC involving an autonomous robotic rover that will perform drone search, search and rescue missions. To um, bid for missions to locate drones uh, that have lost contact with their owners, go to their last known location, and then using its onboard lighter and computer vision, find them and send back their exact coordinates. So, Roswell's computer vision algorithms are being updated to support identifying drones. So, as you can see, here are their uh, community built modules or their protocols. So, they've made a lot already, and these are very, very useful um, protocols. Okay, so they're also interesting also, right? So let's go back. So the roadmap, uh, what we're going to be expecting this quarter for. So it's a decentralized discovery and decentralized communication. Their white paper. Of course, their team of advisors, right? So they're from very renowned companies and their main team. And since DAV is an open source, here's the list of their open source contributors. Okay. And of course, their DAV Alliance. The DAV Alliance brings together members of the transportation industry so that they may collaborate on standards and innovations for a global decentralized network. Right. So here it is. And you can join their DAV Alliance by clicking uh, their Alliance page. Uh, the benefits of joining their alliance is shared knowledge and influence. So members of the DAV Alliance benefit from shared knowledge and experience amongst members. 
the, they, but also gain value from an interest group that could have a greater ability to influence policy and mind share regarding autonomous vehicles across jurisdictions. Blockchain technology and the DAO protocol. Access to the latest technology innovations, trends, and learnings within the blockchain industry from leading technologists, experts, and strategists. Access to blockchain applications and the DAO protocol specific to the future of transportation. Okay, so they are building a decentralized commons for all. Um, the the DAO Alliance members will be at the forefront of the decentralized transportation and autonomous vehicles, uh, vehicle adoption by the mainstream, right? So here are their alliance members. Okay, so if you want to join their alliance, you can click or I mean fill out the form here and then join the alliance. Okay, so let's go back to their website. Okay, so let's scroll down. Um, their invitation to their Telegram group. Just click join Telegram here. And of course their YouTube channel. So just click here. And then um, subscribe at their YouTube channel. Also, some facts about that. Uh, right, so here, are his, here is their website. Okay. So, is it DAO a nice um, project? So, if I were you, I would include this one in your research list or in your portfolio. But, right? Okay, so, um, before I go, I just want to say that I am not a financial advisor and everything I say here is not a recommendation for you to buy or crypto. So you must always do your own research before deciding for yourself. Okay, so this has been Vic. Um, signing off. Bye-bye.